In BW lab, the last experiment of first cycle is verification of current and impedance of the RC, RL and RLC combinations. So within this, we have only RC and RL uh, circuits in our syllabus. So we will focus on RC, resistance and capacitance combination, resistance and inductor combina combinations. The impedance calculation we have to take and current also. Current is measured by the ammeter here, it is provided positive and negative and voltage is measured by the voltmeter positive and negative. There is a control voltage knob. By varying this, you can vary different voltages. You can set different voltages. So to calculate any parameter, we have to consider 5 to 6 readings and average we have to take. So for that, we are going to vary the voltages to different values and taking currents. Uh, everyone knows that. In any combination, Z can be calculated by dividing voltage value with the current value. Z equals to V by I. So I'll set 5 volts and note down the current, 10 volts, note down the current, 15 volts, note down the current, 20 volts, note down the current. So every voltage value and current value calculate Z value and take the average of Z value. And that is to be verified with the theoretical calculations, which is already explained on the board. So for that XL is calculated, for RL circuit, XL is calculated, XL is inductive reactance. In AC circuits, is, it is considered as reactance. So in ACs, reactance can be calculated with the formula XL is equal to 2 pi FL. And in RC combination, XC is calculated, XC is calculated with the formula 1 by 2 pi FC. So after getting XL value and XC value, Z can be calculated with the formula square root of R square plus XL whole square in RL combination and square root of R square plus XC whole square in RC combination. That is the way we calculate the Z value theoretically. And the value obtained theoretical in the theoretical calculations is verified with the practical readings what we are carrying out now. And the value of the resistance is 25 ohms and the inductance value is 150 milli Henry's and the capacitance value is 50 microfarads. So with these values, we'll calculate the theoretical value. Now I'll explain how to conduct the practical experiment. So this is the kit and it is having positive and negative voltage sources and uh, capacitor, two capacitance values, inductance, resistance individually given as component. So depends on the circuit you are given with, you have to connect the circuit accordingly. Voltmeter is connected parallelly with the power supply here and ammeter is connected in series with the positive source and this is connected to R, R second end is connected to L, L second end is taken to negative. Like this we will carry out the connections. After connecting the circuit, switch on the equipment, vary the voltage and note down the currents. So now let us see how to connect the circuit. So this positive source voltage source is connected parallelly with the voltmeter first. We will connect RL network, which is shown in the circuit diagram. So now I have connected voltmeter parallelly with the voltage source. This is the voltage source and ammeter is taken in series. So I have taken one loop wire from the positive terminal and connected to first end of the ammeter. And the ammeter second end is connected to R positive, R first end, and R second end is connected to L first end, inductor first end, and inductor second end is connected to negative of the source. C, voltage source is connected parallelly with the voltmeter, and from this I have taken a loop wire from the positive terminal and connected to ammeter positive. Ammeter negative is connected to resistor first end. Resistor second end is connected to inductor first end. Inductor second end is connected to voltage source. In the other circuit, RC circuit, just to replace these two terminals with C. That means RC circuit. That is only the difference. So I'll keep it to RL first. Switch on the equipment, apply different voltages starting from 0, uh, let us say 5 volts, you observe now no current is reading, minimum voltage is required to switch on the inductance, so 10 volts I will apply, mm. for 10 volts you are receiving 0 0.15 current and 15 volts 0 0.2, 
20 volts like this, you have to carry out five different values, five different voltages with five currents. So every reading you have to calculate Z value as V by I. That Z value is compared with the uh, theoretical calculations. So after this, just replace inductor with the capacitors and now carry out the same readings by applying different voltages, note down the currents. 5, 10, 15, 20 like that. Till 30 also you can take. So this is the current. V by I give you the Z value. 